going on everyone welcome to the video today so my thought process is is first off if you can't see there's this uh this little this disgusting little thing on my face and that's from uh being sick i'm feeling a lot better now i'm a little stuffy still but that's uh, we're not gonna worry about that uh this is from blowing my nose so much that i damn near like didn't even near i ran i uh, ran what am i trying to say here uh i damn near rubbed all my skin off and actually succeeded at it so you know <laughs> lucky me looking more beautiful every day all right um but today's video we're kind of just going to focus on trying to do this entire vlog with this prime fix lens it's 24 millimeter focal length so it's going to be stuck at 24 but we're going to see what kind of shots we can get today uh, like right now on our way to work and then on our way back from work to the gym and then what we can do in the gym and in the end I'll kind of decide I'm pretty sure I want to stick with this 24 millimeter 1.4 lens uh, I have an indie filter on there now so that's why I can record right now in the light at 200 ISO um, but I want to see if this can be the main go-to lens now for vlogs and uh, I don't know I just look at the background it looks so good <laughs> ah. we'll have to just see how it goes because the b-roll portion of it it's going to be kind of difficult especially in the car recording if i want to do b-roll um when i go to the gym tonight i'm gonna try and do some actual b-roll in the gym and we'll see how that turns out and then at the end i'll kind of just be like you know do i like it does it work maybe we'll see but on our way to quit trip to get some drinks for energy so I don't know about you guys, um, but the whole bang trend, I don't know, I don't know if that's across the entire country or what it is. Uh, here in Kansas City, Missouri, bang is like cocaine. Bang is like cocaine for people and I've, I've been on the bang train for a long time and finally our gas station is carrying the bangster berry, which... I, I had it once and I forget what it was. I think it's just like a, I think it's like a grape flavored one. Um, I remember whenever the Rainbow Unicorn one used to be so hard to find. I found it one day uh, at, I believe it was at Sunfresh is when I first got it. And I was like, oh my God, they had like eight in stock and everyone lost their mind and went and bought some. And now it's kind of, now it's kind of everywhere. And now the Bankster Berry is taking its place as like the hardest one to find. And honestly, I love Bang. Bang is delicious and sometimes I use it as a pre-workout when I don't have any or I honestly just don't feel like taking my pre-workout and I don't know. I just, what do you guys think about Bang because I love it and I know there's probably some people out there who don't want to be all mainstream and be drinking what everyone else is but I mean when you eat drinks this good I mean you know it's hard to, hard to say no. So while I'm waiting at work, I just want to point something out. You might see that the picture looks a little different and I might have messed up and accidentally... So I didn't think it would clear everything. I hit clear all settings, but it cleared everything. So it took my custom picture profile off there, all the ones I had on there. So when I get home, I'll have to change that. So right now I'm just using the neutral picture profile and uh, turn some stuff down on it but besides that uh, why is my life like this I'm an idiot ah all right well oh well so I installed the James Miller C log on here so you'll see the first few clips will be with that C log but then everything after this will kind of be like neutral picture profile and I don't think that's that big of a deal, but also like I want to use that flat one because I wanted to see what it looked like and I fucked up. <sighs> oh well, I'm getting ready to go into work, so I'll see you guys after on the way to the gym. Box with the Donald Trump, walking around with the zombies. I know my home team got me. Michael Jordan with the Scotty. Apollo Green with the Rocky. We gon' take it fast, you can take it slow. We don't take no breaks, we just take control. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, slight little B-roll, if that's what you want to call it. I might do a little bit, a little bit of something else here, come later once I actually get into the workout. But today is a max effort lower 
on a Friday, I know, oddly enough, I've been sick all week as I, you might have heard in my last video, but we are here to do some max effort lower sumo deadlifts off of two inch blocks. So let's just see how that goes. We recently have gotten some wider deadlift platforms, so I should be able to set this up enough to where I can get the stance and the pull and the, do all the crazy stuff. Um, so to mention, because my best friend decided one day to be upset that I didn't mention my Christmas present, uh, Christmas present that got here a couple weeks after my birthday in February. This right here is my new Pioneer lifting belt. As you can see, American flag, pretty dope. Uh, the blue lever with the American flag right there. Uh, I like it so far. I got it down to a setting that can fit me pretty well and uh, keep the tightness on me pretty good. So uh, we're gonna give that a go the first time today on some deadlifts. We'll probably rub parts of my stomach into bloody looking lines and weird shit. But besides that, let's get into these deadlifts, dude. So be in mind for this max effort portion. I'm gonna try and do as much hook lift as I can. So I'm gonna try and do that for my conventional speed. I've been messing with it and trying to not make it hurt, but that's what we're gonna do. Hey, uh, hold up, man. I, I got something to say, man. Wait. What y'all out here for, man? What you here for, huh? Does your life matter? Does your life matter? You ready for this? You ready to take control? Are you giving up control? Are you taking control? Sick of looking like sick of count scars. We the ones who go to war against the guys. We the shadows that move around in the dark. Take your life back, take your time, nigga. Welcome to the tribe. Check the rhyme, nigga. I was doing bad, couldn't find niggas. Now my phone ringing all the time. Nigga. We the only ones. So, you know what's gonna feel good here in a few seconds is that I haven't lifted in about a week. I haven't done anything about a week since last Friday. I've been sick, you know. How it goes. But right now, at 5.15 on the bar, I understand it's actually only a one and a half inch block. Still a little easier. I understand that. But I think last time I tried sumo, anything like this, I got up to I think 500. It's gonna be 5.15. If I can do this after not, be lift, not, after not lifting for an entire week, then I feel really good about myself. Even though I might be, maybe shouldn't have, because I kinda, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is impressive. This, if I do this right now, I'm gonna be impressed with myself. So, <laughs> for the YouTube, please let me do this one. Don't be a full wave. Stop being a slave for minimum crew wage. Graduate and try your luck. Couple thousand foot and book. All right, so classically, let's go over the excuses and the reasons why I failed that lift. Um, so reason one, I haven't lifted in a week. Reason two, <laughs> um, still not completely 100%. I'm about 90. I think I'm about 90 or 80, 80 or 90 percent healthy wise. I'm still feeling a little sick. Three, probably didn't warm up as good as I should have for that. Obviously, I mean, I'm I'm still tight in areas, and uh, I feel like I'm almost cramping in other areas. But I I kind of say that just because I haven't been lifted in a week. Um, number four, and this will be the main reason. And I'm sorry, Coach. I know you preached this to me enough already, but I made too big of a jump, and that's a downfall that I make all the time. Because I think somewhere deep inside me, there's just some there's some force that's going to help me do these lifts these outrageous lifts and these super big jumps because I'm like, 4 to 55 felt easy, so let's just go to 500. And then I'm like, eh, but maybe just like, let's put it to five, let's put five 45s on there and we'll do a 10. 
How about that? Instead of a two and a half, and we'll do the 10. Maybe I would have got it if I did a five. That would have been a nice little PR, but you win some, you lose some. And I'm sorry, coach. <laughs> I just made a little bit too big of a jump, and I think I expected more out of myself, given I just personally, like my head, I'm like, oh man, I've had a week, week's worth of rest. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna do all this crazy stuff, you know? But it didn't turn out that way, obviously. Oh, uh, number five, no pre-workouts today. I didn't take any pre-workout. Came in here a little later than normal, and I was like, eh, let's just get into it. And I just started going, and I never really felt the need to take it. I, even once I got into my warm-ups for the deadlift, I never actually felt the need to, yeah, let's take some pre-workout, you know? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so, didn't work out for me. And honestly, when we get on to the second part of the first part of the video I talked about, uh, the camera lens, uh, I'm gonna stop the video here at least, the gym workout, because I wanna get on to the lens. Um, and I didn't go too far into the lens today. I, uh, I used, I had some shots in there in the warm-ups that I was like trying to get creative with, you know? Because with the prime lens, you can't really, you can't really do as much as you could with like a zoom or like the 17 to 40 over there. I can, you know, same spot, but just kinda zoom in a little bit and move it just slightly over, you know? But with this one, you kind of just have to move the lens around and get some creative shots. Like I, I did the one deadlift where you were seeing the blurred out part of the plate that was sitting on the, the rack and uh, a lot of close up stuff and trying to do creative stuff. But uh, I personally think this lens is amazing. I love the blurred background part of it. And in all honesty, I'm just leaving an indie filter on here permanently and just right now it's on minimum. I'm indoors, you know, I turn the ISO down as low as it can go. But like when I'm outside, I need this all the time. Like when it's sunny, like it was today, I, I need it. So I like the blurred part of the background, like over here, like look at it, look at it. It looks fucking awesome. You, 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 and you see, look, even at one point, I'm at 1.4 right now. You can still kind of tell what that is. You can kind of see my hand is blurry, but I mean like, the bokeh is amazing on this lens, so I love that part of this lens, and I am gonna use this as my main one. Forever. Well, not forever. Just use this as my main one as much as possible, unless for some reason I need to zoom in. You know, um, I need the next lens. I do want to get to complete the trifecta of lenses. I have a 24, I have a 50, and I want to get an 85, and it's probably gonna be the 1.8. But I mean, an 85, you know get that even longer range would be my furthest focal length in lens um, or maybe a 70 to 70 to 200 f, if I can get an f 2.8 that would be the shit but I think it might be an f4 we'll have to see I don't know I might I might dabble into that but for right now this lens will be the main one I love it it looks awesome everything looks amazing even at 1.4 at first I was kind of uh, on it with the autofocus but Autofocus is actually really good, and I don't know what I was thinking. So, 24 f1.4 Canon L lens Mark One, I, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's Mark One. Um, body used for a really good price. So, to end this, I need to do better. Obviously, it's still getting some nice, creative-looking, cinematic shots, but. For right now, this lens can cover about 90% of everything that I need to use it for, besides whatever reason you use 50 millimeters for, or the 70 to 40. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you like the quality. Sorry, I was looking at my shins, they're torn up. It's been so long, they're just like little baby shins and they just, any kind of abrasion to them just tears them apart. Um, and it doesn't have to do with my calves being tiny, so screw you. Um, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully saying I don't get sick again this weekend. Cause good Lord knows the weekend's coming up and I'm about to puke my brains out or something. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay dynamic, strong, and don't make stupid mistakes like me, like uh, jumping too much. Just take smaller jumps on everything, really. Especially on, especially on the bench press. Take smaller jumps. Stay dynamic, strong. Peace out.